So you want to take your boring, everyday looking screen shares and breathe some life into it. Well, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to create this 3D looking screen effect in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. And the best part is that it only uses one node. So all that stuff is coming up. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy Ropka and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about different effects, transitions, and workflows that'll help you become a better editor. So if you want to level up your editing skills, click the subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest videos put out but let's get into this all right so now that we're in davinci resolve we're gonna go ahead and start this like 3d screen effect i think it's actually considered like 2.5d but like good math says to round up so like 3d so actually what we're doing is we're faking a 3d camera movement in davinci resolve so pretty much the only thing you need for this effect is like a screenshot or it really could be any form of video clip but for this tutorial i'm using a screenshot because it just looks cool. So once you have this clip, cut it down, drag it onto your timeline, and we're gonna start this effect. Now I can see this happening already. Some of you are gonna say that you can just do this effect from the edit page in the inspector tab. You're right, but it looks like crap. Because in the inspector tab, you go to pitch and yaw, it actually starts stretching your image out in ways that you don't want it. So you can technically do this, but it looks like crap. So if you don't want this effect to look like crap, jump into the fusion tab with me. So now that we're in the fusion tab, I have my handy dandy yellow circle around my pointer. We're gonna click on the media in node, and then we're gonna hit control and space and bring up our select tool window. Now type in DVE and then add it in. And make sure your node's actually connected because so many times I have just placed a node in and not had it connected and then felt like a fool. So connect your nodes. So what this DVE node does is it actually gives us the ability to kind of like fake the Z space so we can move things back in Z, move it up, and then actually under rotation, we can rotate it and not distort the image in any way, shape or form. So now this is a 2D frame, but we're able to move our image around as if it's 3D. So like 2.5D. So to actually make this effect happen, we're gonna be using our Z move, which is ultimately like our size. It makes it bigger and it makes it smaller. Our center X and Y, and then under rotation, we're gonna do X and Y. So now we have to create a starting point. So under Z move, I'm gonna zoom in a lot to about right here. And then using my center X and Y, I'm gonna adjust around. I'm just gonna frame it the way I want to. And then under rotation, I'm gonna start messing around with the angles and how it's skewed. So I like how this looks right here. Now, once again, this is a starting point. So add a keyframe under center, Z move, X and Y. Now you're gonna move forward in your timeline to where you know an action starts to happen. So I know around frame 380 that I actually start to type in my name in the YouTube search bar. So I want that to be in view. So I'm gonna go to frame 380 like this, and then I'm gonna add this ending movement. So as I mentioned, I want the YouTube search bar to be in frame. So I need to actually find it on my screen. So it's about right here. Then under X in the rotation, I'm gonna start to move it around. And then with Y, I'm also gonna kind of make like a panning motion. So now I want it to end like this. So now if I go back to our first keyframe, you'll see that there's actually kind of a dynamic camera movement going on. And now to make this camera movement smoother, you can go into the spline tab and just open it up and make sure your DVE and all the parameters under it is checked. And then hit fit to zoom right here. Next, highlight everything, all the keyframes, and hit S. And now that's just gonna smooth out all of our keyframes. So you can close the spline tab and just watch it back. So now the final thing to do to actually sell this effect is to add some motion blur. So click on your DVE node, and then go to settings right here, and then enable motion blur. You can bring the quality up. I like to bring it up to about six. You can increase the shutter angle to about, you know, 300, 312, something around that. Whatever looks natural for your image. And now from there, you can use the same methods to create new and different dynamic camera movements to add emphasis to what you're doing on the screen or in whatever other video clip you're doing this to. So ultimately, this is just a simple and basic version of this effect. There is, however, another way to actually make everything here look like it's 3D because the reality is, is it would be actual 3D. And that right there can be pretty complicated but actually have incredible results. So if you want a tutorial on this, let me know in the comments below and I'll start working on it for a future video. So there you have it, the easy 3D screen effect in DaVinci Resolve. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a like and also share with your friends so that they can put this awesome effect 
in their videos too. And also, if you guys wanna know the equipment that I use in every single one of these videos, check the description because everything I use is down there. So anyway, as usual, the video on the top is a video all about the iPhone pop-up text message effect in DaVinci Resolve, and a video on the bottom is a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.